Hey, what's going on everybody? So I finally did it. I built a new PC and I installed Windows 10 on it. I know a lot of you are Windows users and so I'm going to try to cater to you as much as I can. I'm going to start coding on this PC as well and see if I enjoy using it. And just to get things started, I'm going to go ahead and show you the process of setting up my developer environment. So let's get started with installing Node.js on Windows 10 Pro and let's just see how it goes. This is all from scratch. I haven't prepared anything so you'll just see how I go about trying to figure this stuff out. So I just go to nodejs.org and then I went to the downloads link up here in the menu. It's got LTS selected by default and then I just click on Windows installer. So I'll click on this down here so when it's done downloading it'll open automatically. Alright, now it's got the installer here so we'll click on next We'll accept the terms and the license agreement and click on next again. You can decide where you want to install it to. I'll just leave it where it is. C drive, program files, Node.js folder. And then in here, custom setup, uh, add to path. It looks like it's already selected. And Node.js runtime. It looks like all this stuff is good, so I'll just leave it how it is. Great, so I'm going to click on next. And let's see here. Some NPM modules need to be compiled from C or C++ when installing. If you want to be able to install such modules, some tools, Python and Visual Studio build tools, need to be installed. Automatically install the necessary tools. Note that this will also install Chocolatey. The script will pop up in a new window after the installation completes. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry. Well, what is Chocolatey? Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I've heard of this, actually. Package Manager for Windows. All right, so here I was thinking it was bloatware, and it's not. You, most of you probably already knew that already. Um, all right, so it's actually probably totally fine to do that. So I'm going to select this checkbox here, and we'll get things moving along. All right, cool. So now we're going to install. Click Yes to let it install. And while that's installing, I'm just going to read up on this chocolatey stuff here. Give me an overview. Software Management Solution. Uh, brings you the concept of true package management, manage dependencies, installation order. Okay. They have a little video here. Let's watch that while we're waiting. All right, I'm already bored with that, so I'm just going to close it. Uh, looks like the install is already done, so we can click finish. And here it's running a script automatically. For, it even says at the top here, install additional tools for Node.js. So this script will install Python Visual Studio build tools. Press any key to continue. And we'll let that do its thing. Uh, okay, it wanted me to press it again. Like, what? So you gotta push it a couple times. Windows PowerShell, interesting. So I, I guess I don't know if Windows 10 comes with PowerShell or not, but apparently it does. And now something else is being run. But it's not giving me any output yet, so. Okay, there it is. Getting the latest version of Chocolatey. So with the PowerShell thing, it pulled it up, but then it took a second, so it was kind of misleading. I didn't know what was actually going on there, but now it's doing its thing, so. Gonna install Python. Obviously, it just installed Chocolatey and then the Visual Studio uh, build tools or whatever they are. All right, so it's taking forever to download Python. I don't know if that's normal or not, but just so you know, Node is actually already installed. So we can check that by opening up the command prompt. And inside the command prompt, you're just gonna want to type Node space dash v is in version. And it tells you right there, version 12.18.1, which is the newest version, uh, the LTS version of Node. And so just to test it out, we just type Node. That opens up the Node REPL. You can do some really simple expressions here, like 1 plus 1 is 2, or console.log, hello world. There you get hello world. So Node is installed. Um, I will probably put something in the... Uh, whatever you want to call it, description section of this video to tell you what ended up happening 
with this because I'm not going to wait around for it to finish downloading. My goal was to get Node installed. I'm not too worried about this extra stuff that's going on. Um, so I'll circle back. I might even make a follow-up video. I don't know. But for now, that's how I installed Node. I just went to Node.js, did LTS, downloaded the, the installer, and then ran the installer and chose to let it install Python and this other stuff, which obviously is taking a lot longer than I would have wanted. But the node itself is installed, it's in the path, and it's working from the command prompt, so that is a success. In the next video, I'm going to install MongoDB, so I'll show you how I do that. I'll also do one for MySQL, and anything else I end up using, I'll probably do Visual Studio Code, or Codium, which is the, uh, the whatever you want to call it, it's like a freeware, or uh, open source version of Visual Studio Code that doesn't have any tracking on it. So anyway, that'll be for a future video. Hope you enjoyed this and learned something. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks a lot.